Okay. Well, this video all debates and all of that. And how I ran across this guy online because you know the internet's full of loonies. Running around talking about how, you know, he had points that Barack Obama was the Antichrist. And he was pretty much trying to deliver his point. He, he kind of argued a bunch of people in this chat room down and he's like, I have proof. Read the Bible. And he's like, you know, if you, if you, and he started bringing up points from the film The Omen. He's like, both of his parents are dead. He rose to success in the political field out of nowhere. He has no experience, blah, blah, blah. He's on crack. Yeah, Ma says he's on crack. No, not only, he also had this little link to this sort of, it was supposed to be like some investigative reported, you know, news clip where he had like taken, he, he had bribes from some guy who like gave him a blowjob and he's like some bisexual homosexual drug addict and I'm like well hell I know a bunch of homosexual drug addicts and they they're pretty trustworthy where did I get it from no Geraldo's too busy telling people where uh, all the troops are located in Iraq because you know he needs to get his information out so I'm sitting there and I'm like you know okay whatever you have a few points I mean anybody could be the Antichrist I'm like look if you if you read the, the same chapter in the Bible, he's talking about it's based, but in Revelations, there was a part where they, they're like, you know, Satan would ride in on the back of a woman and he was some three horned beast. And I'm like, well, McCain's riding on the back of two women. He's riding on his uh, wife's money and he's riding on Palin the dummy. So there's two women right there. McCain's riding on the back of a woman. Okay, you got the three horned beast and ordained and like all these ornaments and I'm like and he like a decorated soldier there he just kind of became one out of the blue too he just stood around longer because he's an old man but I mean it's the same kind of thing and the guy got a little crazy with me he's like I don't see your point and I'm like I see the point okay both nominees are kind of unqualified but I mean hey Qualification never stopped anybody from getting anywhere. George Bush isn't qualified to run a gas station, but he stayed here because people are appointed however they're appointed. You don't really have to do anything. I personally think the Electoral College should have been gotten rid of ages ago, and most people in America don't even know what the Electoral College is. And you know what? I don't think Sarah Palin knows what it is because she doesn't know what Bush's doctrine is. And I mean, dudes in dudes at the liquor store probably know what it is why because most people aren't trying to join the army be right now because they know what bush's doctrine is so ma what do you what do you think about bush's doctrine good night. she says good night there you go because it's a wrap for bush's doctrine now i'm on a topic of, of people running for political office and not being qualified for anything it caused me to think of my friend Ben's old roommate, Travis. Travis hasn't ran anything more than, more than like a phone bill. He's ran his phone bill. That's about all Travis ever ran. And one day he decided to run for mayor of Boone, North Carolina. Now, he got about 25 votes. And I'm like, wow. Travis, who is a Republican, might I add, and also kind of gay and now a, an admitted meth that he was going to run for some kind of political office. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, I could be a carpetbagger and just come down there right now, Ben. I could come down there and run for mayor and I'd probably get more votes than Travis. And then I'd appoint you my political advisor just so we could harass him. And I guarantee you, I could get at least 115 votes. And he's like, you're probably right, because you seem kind of sane sometimes. And I know you're totally sober. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I should do something. And recently, as I already documented, there was some grand catastrophe, slight damn near deadly event happening in my building where it was a bunch of carbon monoxide leaking all throughout this place because certain people from certain countries installed the boiler wrong. I'm like, yo, okay, I should go to the tenant council meeting. Because my mom has a bunch of good ideas. 
My mom did a bunch of crap in the 70s and could probably organize this whole place top to bottom, take care of everything. So she gives me this long story. It's like a half an hour story about how they could get things together. And I'm like, you know, I, I should go ahead with this. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with this. I might end up a half-assed politician. That would be so freaking appropriate. Kai, who really don't want to do anything for anybody anywhere, is going to become a half-assed politician really soon. Because people really don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore. And it seems like something easy that I could just slide myself on into while everybody's just standing there with the fucking uh, look in their face. So I'm going to go to this tenant council meeting tomorrow and I'm going to give them my mama's plan, one of the councilmen, because this guy's a douchebag. And I'm going to see how all that runs. Wish me luck.